A police officer argued with his wife, and while crying with rage, he brutally ended her life. No, it's my wife. Is she okay? No. But when the officers arrived at the house, they found an unusual and terrifying scene. Put your hands around your back, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Stop, stop, stop. It was two in the morning when the Oklahoma police received a distress call about a domestic disturbance. But when the officers arrived at the residence, they had to face a horrific situation. Mister, is anybody else in there with you? No, it's my wife. Is she okay? No. We need to help her, but we can't help her unless you help us. You know how this works. Okay. Don't have a weapon. Please don't have a weapon. I don't have a weapon. Please don't have a weapon. I have my phone. Okay, can you come out to me. Come out to me. Come out to me. Uncle. Hey, come out to me. Uncle. Uncle. Uncle, come see me. 116 is coming out. Uncle, come see me. Go ahead. Um. Uncle Charles. Charles. Come on out, man. Come on out. Come on out. Charles. 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 The police officers didn't understand what was happening until a man crawled out of a room while crying and asking for help. Uncle, Uncle, come see me. 116 is coming out. Uncle, come see me. Go ahead. Um, Uncle Charles. Charles. Come on out, man. Come on out. Come on out. Charles. Charles. Bruce. Stay right Charles. there. Bruce. Stay right there. Charles. Charles. Yeah. Charles. Uncle. Charles. Uncle. Put your hands around your back. Come on. Come on. Uncle. Uncle. Stop, stop, stop. Charles. Stop. Charles! Yes. Yeah, breathe, man, breathe. Charles! Breathe. Uncle, come see me. Please! Hey, what's your name? In the end, the man who seemed so distraught was a police officer, and he had just sold his co worker and wife, Jordan Cannon whom he had been married to for four years. However, due to an argument that got out of control, he unjustly took her life. Jordan was a ray of sunshine. She set an example for not only uh, police officers, but also, you know, female officers in this profession. Um, she, you know, went above and beyond in, in putting other people first. Jordan was an officer when I got here. She served our community for almost two years. Um, she was beloved by the community. One thing that sticks out in my head about Jordan is, you know, she she was here in the height of COVID, and she was uh, kind of the ringleader in starting these uh, these first responder parades for kids' birthdays. We've gotten a lot better in law enforcement of having that open door, but there's you know still that stigma of you know putting putting a facade on almost and and hiding you know. Um, what's what could be happening at home. Jordan's colleagues couldn't believe that their co-worker D at the hands of Von Cannon, who her five times. I am deeply saddened to report the tragic loss of one of our own. Deputy Jordan Cannon was a courageous and compassionate deputy who was senselessly at her residence in Oklahoma City early this morning. This heinous act does not, not only robs us of a dedicated and courageous public servant, but also shakes the foundation of the community in which she served. This tragedy has come as a shock to all of us. We are actively trying to mend and repair uh, this uh, void that is left at the Sheriff's Office and in our community. The Oklahoma City Police Department responded to a scene of a domestic disturbance and possible this morning. When Oklahoma City officers arrived, they found Deputy uh, Cannon from an apparent gunshot wound. This investigation is still underway by the Oklahoma City Police Department. However, despite all the evidence pointing to Vaughn as the culprit in his wife's he denies all responsibility and pleads not guilty. Jordan was a ray of sunshine. She had a smile that could light up a room. She loved law enforcement and had his heart for serving the community. She was close to many of her co-workers and the citizens of our community, and her loss will be felt for a very, very long time. We call on our community to come together and support one another, 
uh, to honor him, her memory of this fallen hero and to foster a culture of respect, understanding, and cooperation. And may she never be forgotten. Uh, how are you all feeling? Can you describe that emotion to us? We're shaken uh, to our core. You know, uh, we, we got a lot of emotions going on. Obviously, we're, we're, we're saddened. We're uh, confused. We're hurt. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you, I'm pissed off. I'm mad at, I'm mad at uh, him for taking her life. Uh, and, it, you know, we, we, I think we all go through the, all the stages of grief, but I kind of, that's where I'm at right now. I'm mourning her loss and I'm, I'm mad at him. The thing is, Jordan meant a lot to the community since she started as a school resource officer when she was first hired and eventually moved on to patrol. But unfortunately, her path crossed with a ruthless man who ended her life after swearing eternal love to her, and today her friends, colleagues, and family demand justice for her d Obviously, we're going to give her the full uh, respect she deserves uh, from our agency and, and I'm sure others. Uh, I, I think the, the best way we can honor her is, is not to uh, let, let her death be in vain and, and to Remember that domestic violence crosses all professions, uh, socioeconomic economic, uh, lines, uh, gender, races. It, it's something that we, we all uh, have to be aware of. And I think that uh, if, if anything positive can, can come from this tragedy, it would be that, is more of an awareness uh, of, of domestic violence and uh, encouraging those that are going through it that there are resources there are ways that we can help, and, uh, and we're, we're here to do that.